All right, hi, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Isaiah. And uh, today we're going to show you a game called Which One Doesn't Belong? No, it's called Which One Doesn't Belong? <laughs> That's what I said. Oh. Now, all you need to, to um, play this is uh, paper and something to write with. And to play, it's really easy. You just make up a, a little square like this and you split it into four boxes. Now, Isaiah, I'll go first. So I'm going to put in here for Isaiah four different numbers. I'm going to put seven, four, four six, twelve. All right. So Isaiah, out of these four numbers, which one do you think doesn't belong? Twelve. Okay. And why does twelve not belong? Because it's the biggest. Okay. Because it's the biggest number. All right. And it, so Isaiah hasn't started primary school yet, so I'm going to scribe for him. So I'm going to say 12 doesn't belong because it's the biggest. Why does it have that? Oh, so you know where the words are. Yeah. Now what about Isaiah? Can you think of a reason why another one might not belong? Wait, I have another one for that one. Okay, tell me. Also, because it's the only two-digit one. Oh, that's a good one as well. So it's the only one with two digits. And I already know you know that because you showed me. Show me with your finger how do you know it's got two digits. Because there's two. Yeah, beautiful. Now, do you want me to do a reason for why? Yeah. All right, I'm going to say that four doesn't belong because it's the only square Ah. Number, isn't it, Isaiah? Yes, the only square one. One, two, three, four. Can you think of a reason for six or seven? Mm -hmm. Seven. Okay, why does seven not belong? Because it's the because it's the only rainbow one in number blocks. Okay, so it's the only rainbow character <laughs> in number blocks. <laughs> That's why. And six? Can we think of one for six? Yeah. What? It's the only one that looks like a finger. Oh, okay. It's the only one that looks like <laughs> a finger. All right. Fantastic. So now we've done this one together and I created it. The next thing that's a really good idea to do is to get Isaiah to create one for me to do. So Isaiah, if I draw the box for you, do you want to tell me something? I can draw the box. Okay, you draw the box. Sorry. Okay, but if I just fix up the one and the two just to make it clearer. So that's one. And that's two. All right, beautiful. Okay, so Daddy goes first. Yep. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to say uh, 10 doesn't belong because it's the only two-digit number. Um, I'm going to say zero doesn't belong because it's the only nothing number. Ah, so it's the only one that means nothing. Yeah. Only one. That means nothing. Okay, so Isaiah, that leaves us with two and one. Mm. Any ideas? Mm. Yeah. Tell me. Two's, I mean, one's the only cute number in number blocks. It's the only cute number in number blocks. Yeah. It's the only Okay. And I'm wondering, are any of them odd? Are they, are they, which ones are odd? Which ones are even? Look. I have a no number one. Tell me. All of them are odd. Yeah, because 10's odd, 
two. So hold on, draw me, draw me two. What would two look like? So if we have two, say we have two sitting like this, does it have a flat top or a bumpy top? Flat. So what does that mean? But it's like that. But, but you got to, if you're going to test if it's even right, you've got to draw it two by two blocks next to each other. She's, well, she she's, she's usually like that. Yeah, but if we draw two like this, does it have a flat top or a smooth top? So would that make odd or even? Even. So two's even. What about ten? What? So have a ten. I mean even. So if we draw ten, let's draw it. You count these blocks. One, two. If ten's on the side like that. Check this ten. One, two, three. Or four lines. Now check each one of those is a block. What the lines? No, no, so that's a block. One, two, three, oh. and count them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's ten. Is that odd or even? Even. Even? Now I'm gonna tell you something, Bob. This is a bit tricky to know, but e zero is also even. So what does that mean about one? Is one odd or even? Fantastic. So it's the only one that's odd. And two is a tricky one. Can you think of anything good for two? Mm, it's not odd and even, Bob, because two looks like this. Look, a number can't be odd and even. It's either odd or it's even. Is that? Even. It's even. Maybe we just leave a question mark for two. Maybe we'll come back to it later. Yeah. All right. Just a couple other quick things as I has gone. Technically speaking, I wouldn't classify this as a game. It doesn't, wouldn't have probably meet the criteria of a game, but he really wanted to record it. And I think it's very much a great worthwhile activity that you can do at home with your kids. I think it's really important if you do it that there's some time with you creating the numbers, but also with them creating the numbers. And Isaiah hasn't started school yet. So some of these things were not super mathematical, um, but you'll notice I accepted all of his suggestions. So some of them were numeracy related, some weren't. Um, and when we had misconception, that important idea of not just telling the kid that they're wrong, but working through with them to show them. Fantastic. All right, do you want to say goodbye to them? Bye. See ya.